What's up guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out the Halo Wars 2 beta and we're gonna talk about this Blitz game mode that came up but more so how to actually set up a deck that you can be successful with because it's not always the easiest thing to do. So we're gonna go to decks here, we're gonna select our the leader that we want to set up with. So I am going to do Captain Cutter here. And you can see he already has a starting army uh, of what you can kind of set up with him. So we can click from there or we can just do create a new deck entirely. But for right now, we are going to jump to the preset Captain Cutter 1. And what you can see here is a bunch of cards that you have uh, available to use uh, in the deck already. So if you were to play a game, these would be the cards that you would play with. But in the top right, you can see that it has uh, edit deck. So that's what we're going to do. And then try not to think too deep into what all this looks like. But what I like to think about it is kind of the old perk list that you used to see in Call of Duty. Um, for how many like kills you would need to get X perk. Um, it's kind of what you see over in the left here. So uh, right in the beginning, you see the Hellbringers uh, and the Marines kind of starting up the bottom of the list. Uh, and those are kind of what you can get right away. Uh, followed by Cyclops, Wolverine, Nightingale, Warthog, so on and so forth. So that's everything that you get right away. But what I started to find out is that I needed other things that, you know, weren't available in the, in the deck. And I, and I found out I could, you know, do without Hellbringers. So you can just uncheck it in the deck, not in the deck. So I'm going to uncheck that. I'm going to dump a Jackrabbit in there. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Marines. Try something a little bit different and do these veteran jackrabbits over here because those guys move fast it's kind of nice to have some speed sometimes uh let's see here switch over to the other page one thing i really want to put in here is this condor strike because i've never seen what that looks like so we are going to drop that in i need to get rid of something though um i never really had much uh fun with this these archer missiles so let's just do condor strike just to make it crazy um, what else can we do? ODST drop, those guys are cool, but these vultures are insane. So I'm going to keep those. I'm going to keep this kind of, you know, 110, 130, 140. The problem is, is that when my team starts getting down or I start getting down later in the game, I don't have anything to come back with, but you start getting a lot of energy, uh, just banked up, stored up one after the other. So you end up having a lot of money when, you know, you really need to push back. Um, so I'm going to try that out and see if I can set this up. Uh, maybe I'll drop the, the Scorpion and do one of these veteran Cyclops just so I can have some, uh, have some more mobile firepower. But that's how this works. So, you know, you, you kind of need to get in there and edit your deck so that you can be successful. You know, don't be afraid to, to get rid of the boots on the ground and just go for some more vehicle. Um, I haven't tried out the Sniper yet, so maybe uh, I'll do that in the future. Um, but, you know, you can check out everything from, you know, the stats of a Warthog, you know, to see the, the card energy cost and so on and so forth that you're kind of developing here. So you can see mine is much higher. Um, but there's a lot of cool things that you can look into here um, and then easily switch your army um, to the bottom up with, uh, with Y to go uh, to something different. So kind of a cool thing about the uh, Halo Wars 2 beta kind of setting us up for what this is going to look like. Uh, it seems like a pretty fun game. I've had more fun with 3-on-3 three three than like 1-on-1 one one or 2-on-2. Two two. So that's kind of the deck setup. I think it's really necessary to be able to be successful in the game, kind of get some customization there. And then don't forget that you're always going to have packs to open, and those are super important because that's how you can get some of your legendary cards uh, and different things like that. So keep checking back with some videos, guys. This is Timbo Slice Games is out.